Hi everyone, today I'm doing the Every Room is a Different Pack Challenge. Here's how it works. I built this nice little shell and it has a wonderful little floor plan inside. As you can see, I'll be using James Turner's random pack generator to randomly pick which pack, excluding the kits, decorates each room in this house. Ready for some chaos? Let's pick the pack for the outside of the house. Okay. My wedding stories. Okay, I think this can actually work really well. Alrighty, so let's just filter real quick by my wedding stories. And oh, do we only have one wallpaper? Oh, oh no, I thought we had more than one. Okay, well, I guess we'll just do maybe a nice, nice beige for the outside of the house. Looks a little bit weird with the roof, but okay, so that's our only wallpaper. Let's see, did we get any roof patterns? Their chimneys. I don't think we can really put that on our chimney and have it not look ridiculous. Um, okay, so we only have medium and tall doors, so I'm gonna have to use medium walls, which oh, I hate doing, but I guess we'll use this door and see, we have <laughs> these crazy windows, but I think I'll just use these windows and then maybe I'll do... Let's see, let me remember what my floor plan is. So, bedroom, and then this is gonna be the living room. Okay, and then let's see what flooring we have. Okay, there's no flooring. There's also no stairs, so I can't put this on a higher foundation. No foundation. Um, let's see, did we have any trims? Oh, we did have a nice fence though, so we can put a fence up. Let's see what color do we want. So we can at least do that around there, and then I'm gonna save, um, I guess furnishing. I think this is about as good as we can do with the outside. Oh wait, I forgot landscaping. Oh no, no trees, no plants, no flowers. Okay, let's just pull up everything that's from my wedding stories. So there's this like little pergola. Yeah, I could size this down, could pretend it's like a walkway. Oh no, that's bright purple, that looks silly. Just kidding. But maybe I could use this, have a nice little walkway. I think that looks nice, and oh, that's a huge fountain. Some nice flowers by the front of the house. And then let's see what else. We have like these fancy things, but I think those look kind of silly. The little centerpieces don't really make sense. I think I'm actually going to delete this fence because the back porch is going to be a different pack. Well, I think this is about as good as we're going to get for the front of the house. Let's spin for the little front hallway here. Okay, so let's figure out what pack we're going to get to use for the hallway. Oh no! <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's filter to mosquito stuff. Um, this is definitely going to be very interesting. Let's see, did we get any floors? I know we did get a wallpaper though. And did we get any lights actually first? Okay, so we got some fluorescent lights. That's always a good start. I'm going to also, oops, I'm going to size these lights down, otherwise they are a little bit big. And we will put one, size them down twice, and put one here, and then one here, and then one in the entry, because otherwise it's super dark in the hallway. And then, oh yes, wallpaper. Maybe we should embrace some color for the inside, or we could do more of like a nice, um, I don't know, I kind of want... Like kind of like art deco almost that kind of matches our other stuff and then let's see what no we have a rug because we don't have a floor so i was thinking we could kind of put this rug together as a floor but it's a little bit wide we do that that kind of looks like it's maybe tile or something and then maybe we use just a different concept over or a similar concept but just a slightly different rug over here or maybe we just leave that with nothing and then Let's see, we look at lights. We definitely could use some wall decoration. Maybe that has a pop of color, so like maybe this one. So I'm gonna have my living room door over here, but I think we can definitely squeeze in some nice art. Let's click enter just to see all of the things from this pack. 
feel like I could put a mirror in the hallway. We might not get one anywhere else. So it's like a little lounger. Oh, that's going to block the door. But maybe put in a chair with a side table and just like scoot these together kind of. And then I can put like this little bookcase over here. Yeah, I think that's about as good as that room's going to get. So kind of thinking if we get any kitchen stuff, do a kitchen. Otherwise, maybe the living room is our next best bet. Okay, let's see what pack we get next. Okay. Outdoor retreat to remind myself of what we have in this pack. See, outdoor retreat. Oh, we have some beds. Don't have any doors. So I guess we'll just knock down a wall. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we do the living room with this one since we do have some living room furniture. And I think we're just going to have to open up the wall. <laughs> and let's see. Yeah, we don't have any doors. But we do at least have some flooring which is exciting our very first flooring so i have to carefully paint this so that it doesn't spill into where we aren't supposed to have any flooring and then for walls oh wow such choices um, i think i might stick with just the same brown as the floor this house definitely there's a lot of vibes happening right now and then let's see lights okay we have a couple of lights which is really promising I'm Thinking we go for maybe kind of cozy setup like this. Have some nice simple furniture. Then let's see what else do we have. Then a little living room table perhaps. That oh the rugs are a little bit limited. We'll just use the tarp. So rustic. Okay, and then we can put this little light here in the corner. That'll be pretty nice. And then let me see. So let's see, is there a good side table? Oh, there is, and it even matches. So that's kind of nice. Or I could use this little peck cube side table it's kind of cute as well yeah let's do that and then put like a little matching lamp there too and then we can put up some fall decorations so this could be cute it's nice little fried hearts and then oh, that's fancy and then maybe a little picture of flowers on the coffee table oh, yeah we have a guitar so maybe we can put the guitar in the corner you know, give your sims something to do because you're definitely going to want to play in this house you know so badly and i don't know about that yeah i think that this is about all we can do in here so we put like a giant tree inside and no i'm not sure i'm feeling that could put this little um sign up for decoration maybe <laughs> yeah i think that is pretty good so why don't we see what we get Oh wait, I think I colors with this pack. So I could put these on the doorway so it at least looks a little bit more uh, polished. Well, that, that's nice. Uh, let's see what pack we get next and use that to help us decide which room we want to decorate. Alrighty, let's see what we end up with. Tiny living stuff. Okay, we can, yeah, we can do a bedroom with this. Okay, this is perfect. I think the, oh, tiny living does come with a door, I think. Tiny living. All right, well, might be a little bit of a weird door, but okay, I'm thinking that we should do this room, and I'm thinking this is going to be the kids' room, and let's grab all of our tiny living stuff. So, got ourselves a bed, use that one, and we also have some lights, but tiny living doesn't come with flooring or wallpaper. <laughs> um, that is way too big if I size it up. Maybe I can layer a couple of these close together and have it look like it's flooring. There we go. That doesn't look bad. And then let's see, let's do a nice little side table. First, this kid is going to have such a nice like cool vibe in the room and then you realize that the walls are just drywall but you know maybe they're just remodeling and you know this is all a Work in progress, of course. You know, it is what it is. Um, let's do a nice little lamp on here. Wish I had a computer to put on it, but unfortunately don't have that. Just kind of really committing to this decoration theme, but I might go with a white chair. And then we can put a nice little bureau in. I feel like I keep scrolling past it. It's kind of sad because there's not a ton of stuff in this pack. This is a stuff pack. There we go. We got a nice little bureau. The bureau right there. Candles just to have some clutter around. And I wonder if like, I can size these up. That that does look bad. <laughs> I was thinking of using these for wallpaper. So if I size this up really big, but it's a little bit too wide, kind of the perfect size, but it also sticks out too far. So maybe, maybe not. Some other decorations on the wall though. Maybe just hang up at least one of these. But I think 
that's really about all we can do. Oh, maybe we could. Yeah, because let's just get enormous too if we size them up with the F. But I think this room is pretty cute. I mean, except for the fact that we don't have um wallpaper or flooring. We will mix up the color of this though. I think that works. I think it does look good. I'm just, yeah. This is fine. Um, well, actually, if I rotate, no, then you really can't get your. Oh, I can put a mirror in too. And then maybe just one more painting just over the desk. I think that's about all I can do with this. Yeah. Okay. So now we're down to the other bedroom, the kitchen. But then I also have to do the back porch. So I guess we technically have three more things to do. Let's see what we end up. Alrighty. Time to see what we. Cool kitchen stuff. Oh my gosh, we can do the kitchen. Okay, this is absolutely perfect. I not have planned this better if I tried. All right, I think unfortunately cool kitchen isn't gonna give us a door if I remember right. It's been a while since I built with it, but at least we get everything else. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. We'll just knock down a wall, knock down two walls and see if I can scoop this. I have to readjust our hallway art quickly. Just don't mind me, there we go. Okay, cool kitchen. Do we get, oh, we even have a light. Okay, so I'm thinking I'll do kitchen counters over here. Uh, let's see which swatch is nice. I feel like I'm tempted to use the brown to have it mesh match, but I could also just use this to have it blend in better. The mosquito stuff hallway. Maybe I'll do that. Um, let's see, let's put a fridge in right over here. And then I want to sneak in like a little dining. Oh, there's no table. Um, so I guess I'll do a little island. Maybe we'll extend this out or do another like end piece or something. Maybe I'll just do island pieces all the way across. Definitely makes the kitchen a little bit squished, but you know. All right, and then maybe we put these lights over breakfast bar, do a nice little series of lights. I feel like that looks nice. And oh, the nice frosted cabinets. I forgot about that. Okay, I kind of hate that. Oh, do we have a sink? Oh, we do have a sink, thank goodness. I'm also gonna adjust this window because again a statement sink everyone loves a statement sink right and then there is a range hood let's use that and then we can do some cute little flowers oh those do you slot hello hello and definitely have a nice little thing oh we do have a table i just didn't realize it but it's too big anyways so okay i think we definitely need to have the ice cream machine in here and use the blue one and i think we should put the spice rack into might do two or three of them next to each other you know like a wall of spices or actually i'm kind of a cool looking backsplash Let's see if there's oh no wallpaper no flooring okay mm -hmm. Okay, so honestly, these spices are actually, I'm gonna pretend that these are wallpaper. Just put these down. And I'm just gonna put these across the back here. See how they all look? And then I might, I'm gonna adjust those knives after I put these all down. Oh, we've got some kitchen shelves. Maybe we'll put that. These lights also, these do not light too well, but I think this might be about as good as we're gonna get with this kitchen. Let's see, is there anything else? Oh, I could put the little salt and pepper shakers out. Do a nice little accent. Or maybe not the ice cream maker, but I do love this little dish rack. Maybe we'll put that there instead. I'd love to put the flower somewhere, but I just don't think they really fit anywhere, which is bad. Alright, so this is our kitchen. So let's hope that the next pack that we get will have some type of bedroom furniture. Okay, let's see. Let's hope we get a bed. Fingers crossed that this is not a total disaster. Okay, Seasons. Ooh, got lucky again. Seasons even has a door, which seems so luxurious given that some of these don't have doors. Let's see, Seasons. Okay, got definitely a, a nice trio of doors here. And see, this bedroom is definitely a little bit small for a double bed, but you know that that's on me for doing a questionable job of building the shell. I love this bed, so I think I'm gonna use that. And then we can do at least one little side table. And then I should probably see if there's any, oh, no flooring. But we do have walls. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for the walls. And do we have any good lights? This could be kind of fun to maybe put on the wall over the bed and then also have a nice little lamp on the side table. Let's see what color. Maybe just a nice basic one. And Seasons also comes with curtains, which is nice, <laughs> especially for this room. You can do that. That definitely adds a little bit of dimension. And you know, concrete floors are cool now, right? Right? Okay, let's see. If we have any small bureaus that we could, oh, that's a little wide. That there, I don't think a sim could use that. Yeah. Well, maybe if I make it like the end of the bed and just scoop this 
lesson. You know, it's not ideal, but it'd be okay. I think the life lesson here is that I should think a little bit more before making my shells, or I should have just used tiny living for this one, but for this room instead of the other room. You know, we live and we learn. Oh, I could use a carpet for the flooring in here. Let's see if I size. Okay, I've sized that rug up a it's going to be way too big. Maybe I can size this really big weird rug down. Have that kind of stick out. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And then we could do this big landscape maybe on the wall here. See that when you first wake up? That's pretty nice. And let's see what other season's decor we can grab that would suit this room. Also put a mirror on this wall. Let's see. I'm trying to find something that I could put maybe on the Euro. So let's see. I haven't gotten too many doodads that aren't just leaves and candles though, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe we'll do these holiday cards. You can kind of pretend that like the kid made them for the parents. I think that'd be kind of cute. So maybe some birthday cards and put a thermostat in here. All the parents have all the control of the uh, heat. <laughs> uh, maybe not. I like that would get very annoying. <laughs> Try to find one in a wood that blends in nicely. I don't know. Maybe I don't need that. Oh, well, maybe the Oak Bureau actually. And maybe I put something else at the bottom of the bed. Mm, we'll just do like a chair in the corner. There's a good one. Mm, nah, I kind of like the bureau better, I think. All right, I think that's as good as that room is going to get. So that means that I have one last room to do, and that's just this little back porch right here. Okay, let's see what we get for the back porch. Spa day. Okay, might be a very interesting porch. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna actually expand this porch a little bit just because we have some good stuff with spa day and i was thinking we could do like a nice little sitting area out here um we also have a fence so we could do a nice little fenced in moment here oops that's a wall um spa day does have stairs but i can't put them all the way around i think they're just gonna look silly and plus your sims can stop so, ugh, can step off a one tile high thing that and then i kind of do um maybe a table or something back here but then put some chairs in front of it. I was thinking this is going to be a very chic looking area which is funny because I feel like it matches um maybe the vibes of the kitchen maybe the vibes of the hallway does that match the rest of the place at all um do that and then I was thinking for on here I want to put that little drink cart I could have that so then the sims have something to do out here and then looking for some cute plants maybe like these you want on each side and I'd like to have like another little table or something but I feel like it'd be in the way I also want to add some color um maybe I could put some of these up I feel like it looks weird because it's not centered on the window but well, maybe not there but maybe I could put these up over here alt place is definitely where it's at those there too so it's just a little bit more privacy maybe that looks silly I will delete that one. And ooh, so we have these waterfalls with Spa Day, but I feel like, like this looks kind of silly like that, but I was thinking maybe I could disguise it a little bit. Not with this thing, uh, by just doing a little one of these over here, and then a little one of these right here. And I think that that looks kind of cool. I'm pretty into it. And let's see what else. I'd like to be able to have a little incense moment. Maybe I have the side table is small enough that I could sneak it in. This little guy. Oh, I think it is. So I could sneak that in there. And then I could get the cute little flower incense and just put that right there. And oh, I could put a random big urn. What do you think? Does it, does it suit the vibes? It's a vibe check pass. I need to know. Um, let's see. And maybe I'll do one of these on the floor. So we don't have a rug, I'd like a little bit more texture. Sure, I think that looks pretty nice. So I don't think we really have any nice posters. I guess we put, could put up the juice wall display, but I think it looks a little silly. And then this is a little bit wide. Unless, oh, uh, maybe I'll replace these, this, tie in the wood a little bit more. I think that's really nice. I don't think we really have any other things to put out here that would fit and make sense. Like, I could put another bench, but you know, what's really the point? Uh, it's too bad we didn't really have much to do with the backyard, but that's okay. And yeah, let's Let's check it out. Oh, I forgot to paint a section earlier. Yeah, we've got the front of our house. Very nice, very beautiful. And then, then you go inside. This is where you could say the problems begin, or you could say the chaos starts. We go in, we've got this, our nice, um, our nice uh, mosquito stuff hallway uh, with our nice rug flooring. We have our cozy camp inspired living room. 
we have our cool kitchen with so many spices. Uh, we have a stunning looking bathroom. And we have a cozy kids room with a sad amount of wallpaper. I think this parents bedroom is probably my favorite room in this whole build. And then we've got our classy backyard. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also click subscribe because I do challenges like this all the time. And let me know what you'd like to see next in the comment section below. Thanks everybody. I'll see you next time.